Hi, so today I wanted to do a little video with you um, where I'm going to introduce you to a technique that I absolutely love um, and I love teaching my clients, which is called emotional freedom technique. Um, it's also known as tapping. Um, it's a very, very simple but effective technique that helps us to alleviate emotional distress that we have around issues. Um, it works on the principles of Chinese acupuncture and also modern psychology. Um, and it works to help us just basically to shift energy in the body around particular issues that we might be having. So this video that I'm going to do the demonstration with is going to be based around um, kind of emotional eating and binge eating and for people who really struggle in their relationship with food. If you're completely new to tapping and you've never done it before, um, I'm going to work through the sequence and I'm going to describe as we go along what we're doing. So all you simply need to do is to tap along with me. Um, you might want to have a little glass of water handy. Um, if you've never ever heard of tapping before, um, just all I would say is try as best you can to not get caught up in the what you're doing, not get caught up in the trying to analyze it, trying not to get too distracted maybe by other things that are going on around you. Just really try to connect in with the words that I'm saying and if they resonate with you, how that makes you feel. There might be some words or some statements that I might say that you don't connect with, but there might be other things for you that do come up. So this is really about trying to, particularly for something like emotional eating or binge eating and something that you maybe experience a lot of distress around, it's about really trying to tap through and bring relief to some of those aspects of your relationship with food that you really struggle with and that you want to let go of, okay? So if my words don't resonate, you can say your own words and um, you can say it in your own mind or you can say it out loud. I do usually recommend that you express out loud what it is that you're thinking and you're feeling, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing we do whenever we are about to um, tap on a particular issue is just really identify what the problem is that I want to um, tap on and how strongly I feel about that. So on a scale of one to 10, one, I don't feel very strongly about this, to 10, this is a huge issue for me, rating um, how much you connect with that. So the particular issue that we're gonna tap on today is around um, feeling like I have no control around food um, and that food controls me. So I want you just to take that statement of I have no control around food and consider for you how much is this a problem in your life on a scale of 1 to 10. And when you've got that number we're just going to get started with something we call the setup statement. So with the setup statement we just simply take the side of the hand. This is known as the karate chop. We take two fingers and we just gently start tapping on the side of the hand. And I'm going to say the statement and you're just simply going to repeat it after me. So even though I have no control over food and it is making me feel so distressed And I'm not sure I'm ever going to get over this problem. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I feel like I have no control around food and it's a constant battle and I'm always losing, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I feel like I have no control around food, I just wish that I could eat normally, like other people do. And I feel like I am failing all the time. I love and accept myself anyway. Okay, so now we're going to move to the tapping points, the meridian points, just beginning at the beginning of the eyebrow. And again, you're just repeating these statements. All this stress around food, outer eye, all this fear and anxiety around food, and 
under the eye. I just get so stressed and anxious thinking about what to eat. Worrying about how I should eat, whether it's healthy or not. Under the nose, desperately trying to be in control. Down to the chin, always trying to have the perfect diet. Down to the collarbone, I'm always obsessing about food. I just can't stop thinking about food. Next one is underneath your armpit, sort of like where your bra line would be. But this is just exhausting me. And top of the head. I'm so tired of fighting with food. I'm so tired of this constant battle over what to eat. I'm trying desperately to be in control. I do I? Only to end up binging. I can eat well for a certain length of time and then I just always end up falling back into these same cycles of binge eating. And I am so full of shame over the way that I eat. I try and hide it from others because I'm just so embarrassed. I just wish I could eat normally, like other people do. I'm not sure I can. Not sure I'm ever going to get over this problem. I really want to let go of these issues with food and this constant fight. I want to let go of this problem, but I don't want to be deprived either. Food is my comfort. Food is my friend. Food has always been there for me. And I don't want to let it go. Who would I be without this issue? I'm not sure I want to let go of this issue. I don't want to be deprived. But I know it's not helping me either. It's making me really unhappy. It's taking over my life. I'm obsessing about food and diets and weight all the time. I wonder if there is another way. I'm open to finding other ways of managing my emotions. I'm open to letting go of this need for food to manage my emotions. I'm open to finding better ways of finding connection in my life. I'm open to finding new ways of finding joy, contentment in my life.
I can find new ways to manage my stress. I could find ways to manage my stress without needing to turn to food. I could try things like tapping. I'm open to giving it a go. It would feel so good to overcome this issue. It would feel so good to be connected with myself and trusting my body. It would feel and so empowering to let go of this issue. I'm excited about overcoming this issue. I can find other ways to feel good. I can find other ways to manage my emotions. I can learn to trust my intuition. I can learn to be more connected in with myself, with my thoughts and my feelings. I can learn to have trust in my body. It may not be easy, but I'm willing to give it a go. I'm open to letting go of this issue around food. I'm letting go of this need to use food to manage my emotions. I am letting go of this fight with food. I'm tuning in with my body and I'm listening to what it really needs. I'm letting go of this fight with food. Okay, just stop and just take a lovely cleansing breath in through your nose. And just check in with yourself now and see how are you feeling? Did any new thoughts or feelings come up when you were doing that tapping sequence? Did your feeling about this particular issue, did it shift? Did it change at all? Have you noticed anything that feels different? And just connect in with that rating that you give yourself at the start of the video. What is that rating now? Is it still as high? Is it still exactly the same? If it's still high, then there might be some more tapping work that you want to do. But hopefully you will have felt some kind of a shift and perhaps that that number is now lower. If you enjoyed this video, then I recommend you check out some of my other videos on this channel um, that are all connected to other issues around eating and food. But I encourage you um, to keep tapping. It's a fantastic practice to use for general anxiety and stress relief anyway. It's a wonderful, relaxing and calming technique. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.